In the rapidly changing landscape of automotive technology, new advancements frequently receive both acclaim and doubt. One such advancement is the continuously variable transmission or CVT. Engineered to deliver smooth acceleration and better fuel efficiency, CVTs have gained popularity among car manufacturers. However, not all CVTs are created equal. Today, we're exploring the realms of CVTs with a particular focus on five vehicles that have faced problems with this technology. Stay tuned. Let's start with the Nissan Sentra, a popular compact sedan that has been a staple in Nissan's lineup since 1982. By the 2010s, Nissan has fully embraced CVT technology across its range, including the Sentra. However, models from 2012 to 2016 became infamous for their CVT issues. Drivers reported a host of problems, including transmission shuddering, hesitation during acceleration, and even sudden power loss. The root of these issues often lay in the transmission overheating, leading to a premature wear and eventual failure. Nissan attempted to mitigate these problems through software updates and extended warranties, but for many owners, the damage was already done. As a result of this debacle, the Sentra's reputation took a hit with many consumers left questioning the reliability of Nissan's CVT technology. The 2016 Nissan Sentra was a part of a 2018 class action lawsuit due to issues with failing transmissions. The CVTs were reportedly prone to a defect that could cause sudden shaking while driving and some owners also experienced difficulty with acceleration. Potential buyers of the 2016 Sentra models should carefully evaluate the transmission during a test drive and ensure that it has received regular fluid maintenance. Next, we have the Nissan Altima, another key player in Nissan's lineup. The Altima, known for its comfortable ride and advanced features, has been a strong competitor in the mid-size sedan market. However, the 2013 to 2016 models faced significant backlash due to their CVT performance. Similar to the Sentra, the Ultima CVT were plagued with issues like delayed acceleration, jerking movements, and the notorious rubber band effect where the engine revs inconsistently with the vehicle's speed. These problems were exacerbated by the fact that CVT repairs are more often expensive than traditional automatic transmissions, leaving many Ultima owners frustrated with high repair costs. Despite its other strength, the Ultima CVT issues became a significant point of contention for those looking for a reliable mid-size sedan. Moving on to the Jeep Patriot, a vehicle that promised a rugged durability and off-road capability. Introduced in 2007, the Patriot was Jeep's attempt to offer a compact SUV with a brand signature off-road prowess. But between 2011 and 2017, the Patriot's CVT became a source of frustration for many owners. Drivers often complained about the transmission being noisy and unresponsive, particularly when the vehicle was under load and driving off-road. The CVT's tendency to overheat was another common issue, leading to a sudden loss of power, a critical flaw in a vehicle marketed for its off-road capabilities. For many Patriot owners, these CVT issues undermined the vehicle's overall appeal, casting doubt on its reliability in demanding conditions. The Mitsubishi Outlander, introduced in 2001, has been a versatile option in the crossover SUV market. Known for its spacious interior and available all-wheel drive, the Outlander has been a popular choice for families. However, the 2014 to 2018 models faced a significant criticism for their CVT performance. Many owners reported a jerky and unrefined driving experience, with the CVT struggling to find the right gear ratio. This led to a feeling of underpowered acceleration, especially when merging onto the highway or climbing hills. The Outlander CVT was also prone to reliability issues, with some drivers experiencing premature transmission failures that required costly repairs. These problems tarnished the Outlander's reputation, especially amongst those who expected more from Mr. Bish's engineering.
Finally, we arrived at the Subaru Forester, a vehicle synonymous with reliability and all-wheel drive capability. The Forester has been a favorite amongst outdoor enthusiasts since its debut in 1997. But even Subaru, known for its robust engineering, faced challenges with its CVT in the 2014 to 2018 Forester models. Owners reported that the CVT in these models were noisy and sluggish, particularly when driving in hilly terrain or during quick accelerations. While Subaru CVTs are generally praised for their durability, the Forester's performance in these years left some drivers feeling underwhelmed. The transmission's behavior sometimes clashed with the vehicle's otherwise rugged and dependable image, leading to a mixed reviews from both critics and consumers. CVTs were introduced with the promise of smoother driving and better fuel efficiency. But as we have seen today, not every implementation of this technology has been successful. Whether it's Nissan Sentra or Subaru Forester, these vehicles show that even the most well-intentioned innovations can have their drawbacks. If you are in the market for one of these models, it's crucial to do your research, consider the specific year, and be aware of potential transmission issues. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive insights and reviews. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or experiences with CVTs.